Now, Kyle Berger with sports. And welcome back, everyone. Big games like Chipola and Gulf Coast are usually safe for the postseason play. Instead, the Lady Indians and Lady Commodores matchup is just the opening game of the Panhandle Conference schedule. Chipola ranks first in the state. Gulf Coast fourth. First batter of the game, Chipola's Tiffany Harmon. Hits it down the left field line. This one go all the way to the left field corner. It's a stand-up double for Harmon. Then the next batter, Harmon using the wheels. So she'll take off for third base, slides in safely at third. Now this is a manufacturer run. So next batter, Sarah Lovestrand. She'll ground a Saskia coaster nick at shortstop. Harmon scores from third. Chipola leads 1-0. Now Lady Indians pitcher, Casey Laster, was on fire. She'll strike out Suzanne Smith right there. Chipola gives up one run, winning the game 4-1. But Gulf Coast battles back to win game two against Chipola, 6-3. Both teams are now 1-1 one one in the Panhandle Conference. And the Gulf Coast baseball team picked up its first conference win last night in Niceville against Okaloosa Walton. Commodores hosting the Raiders this afternoon. Top 5, 2-0 OW. There's a heavy wind gust to right center. Scott Robinson hits it right into that wind gust. Sails on out of here. A two-run shot, 4-0 Raiders. Same inning now. With a runner on first base, coach has got to talk it over first. O.W. batter Jordan Orangeborg fell to the left field. It's going to one-hop the fence. That's a ground rule double. Puts runners on second and third. Next batter, Terrell Stringer. Strings it to left field. Tyler Slocum scores. Okaloosa Walton knocks off Gulf Coast big time, 13-1. to one. And field five of the Lynn Haven Sports Complex will always be remembered in honor of the late Wayne Boyd. The ball field was dedicated to Boyd this morning during the opening day ceremony at the sports complex. Boyd died at the age of 64 with colon cancer nearly three weeks ago. He was best known for founding Bay County Amateur Baseball in 1985 and served as the general manager for more than 21 years. Boyd touched more lives than he probably realized. A lot of kids that went on to do greater things because I think of his leadership and what he gave back to his community. And he also spent many, many hours out on these fields to make sure that the kids had a good place to play. And uh, we'll always remember him. He was a legend in his own way towards baseball. Boyd also coached two Dixie Major State titles, five Dizzy Dean Championships, and the only Florida American Legion Class A State Championship in Bay County. And March Madness is living up to its name. Number one Ohio State got a scare today from number nine Xavier in the south bracket. Xavier up three, less than 10 seconds to play on a missed free throw. Buckeyes pushing it up the floor, clock ticking down. Mike Conley, Jr. to Ron Lewis, the deep three-pointer for the tie. It's good, we go to overtime. In overtime, Xavier up 64-62. That's when Conley just takes over. He scored 21 points, Buckeyes come back to win, 78-71. to And number six, Vanderbilt, and number three, Washington State in OT, game tied. Washington State with the ball, but Bandy's Derek Byers, the SEC Player of the Year. Get that out of here. Game-saving block. We go to double overtime. Commodores up two. Time running out. They break away and seal the deal right there. Vanderbilt upsets Washington State 78-74 to advance to the Sweet 16. And the Bush Series race taking place in Hampton, Georgia at the Atlanta Motor Speedway today. And during caution, everyone pits, including current leader Kyle Busch, being single okay to leave the pit back at the race. But take a look at what the NASCAR officials noticed. A lug nut falls out while replacing the tire. There it is right there. You see it falling out. Drops him back to 15th position due to that missing lug nut. Race restarts on 174. Jeff Burton becomes the new leader and would finish the race easily in front of the rest of the pack. His second straight Bush win in a tiny lug nut. What's it cost? 75 cents? Cost him uh, kind of thousands, thousands of, thousands of bucks. Not millions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. You never really know what's going to happen in these races, though. Unpredictable, just like March Madness. How about that's right. it? Yeah. <laughs> Exciting day in sports. Thanks, Kyle. Coming up, the star of the Junior Museum.